What is up, you guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm John. And I'm Kathy. And together we are, we are the, the Journey, Journey with the Endesis. Okay, welcome to another episode on the Minimalist Lifestyle Series. And today, we will talk about how we handle our finances as minimalist family. Many of you know that Kathy and I were from economically poor family. And when we say economically poor, just imagine those you see in the movies where there be times when parents bicker because they got no food, you know, at least for their kids on the table or dinner. So although we love our, our parents so dearly, we think that the reason why we were in that very situation was due to their lack of you know financial education uh, don't get us wrong you know our parents are the hardest working they do what they can to try to provide for us but you know it always seems like they're never in enough yeah it's not, it seems like their income is not enough so you know of course it was quite an eye-opener for me and my wife thus we promised ourselves that that you know we want to get out of it and pave our way to financial freedom and i think that is by equipping ourselves with the necessary financial knowledge sure so mind you guys we are not experts nor we think that we know all the knowledge you know out there about this topic but living from almost nothing to now with you know a few assets and you know a small business on the side we think that it might be valuable to share um, some of the tips that we think work for us wouldn't it be nice to wake up every single day not worrying about money without further ado here are our five tips how we handle our finances as a minimalist family If you're earning 10,000 pesos a month, you don't want to have a spending over that. Now that sounds overly simplistic, right? But really it's not. You see, many people nowadays, especially the younger generation, they're buried in debt. Do you want to know why? Well, we'd like to think that the impact of ever accessible social media has some influence to it. We see our fans, Instagram models, models yeah, self-proclaimed entrepreneurs expose their flashy lifestyle online. Now subconsciously, we are picking these all up and later on, it primes our mind to keep up with their lifestyle. Now it's okay if we can afford it, but if not, then that's where the problem comes in. Try to evaluate your current lifestyle and be brutally honest if it's a lifestyle you can conveniently afford. Mm -hmm. If you have to borrow a huge amount of money or you know, compromise a necessity just to pursue the lifestyle, then I think it's time to change. There's nothing wrong in living below your means. In fact, you know, I think it's a sign of being mature and you know, responsible. Now, I'm not discouraging you to live a grander life, right? If you want it, work hard for it and seek for ways to increase your cash flow. But never, ever, you know, live above your pay grade. Sure. Although the idea of minimalism is buying less and living simply as minimalist, we also need to shop, of right. course, sometimes. Right. Tip number two separate wants from needs to put it simply always prioritize your needs over your wants right. shop intentionally 
try to list down the weekly, monthly needs before buying your wants. This is, of course, based off your physiological needs as an individual. Right. Physiological needs means air, water, food, food. shelter, yeah. and clothing. Right. Now that we're clear with the needs, that means prioritizing your water bill, electricity bill, electricity, yeah. groceries, and clothes you may need to buy. Mm -hmm. So, how do we do it as a minimalist? Of course, we try to set a budget on each item. Try to list down how much your regular monthly bill on your water and electricity. electricity yeah list down the grocery items according of course to what you need in your family needs right <clears throat> and additional tip by the way try to buy food on a weekly basis when you have enough food to last you for at least you know a week this will help you maximizing what's in your pantry or fridge. your fridge right. right this is of course will help you avoiding wasting uh, food or have have rotten veggies. veggies right also only buy clothes as necessary making intentional purchases will help you avoid ending up with a cluttered home full of things that you don't use nor love right. when you know what you ex what to expect um, when it comes to paying or, or buying, buying yeah. it will help you figure out how much is left on your pay and maybe buy what you want or save it or up. save it up yeah. for now save first before spending if you're saving after what's left from your income then you are in big trouble we all are insatiable creature and our needs or wants are endless if we don't discipline ourselves. Setting aside your savings before anything else sets a limit instantaneously of what you can just spend. Trust me, it may seem hard at first, second, or third time you do it, but eventually, with your will and desire to be more in control of your money, you will get the hang of it. Here's what we want you to do. Go grab a calculator and compute what is 10 to 15% of your monthly income. Next time you receive your salary, save the said amount immediately and try to budget what's remaining for your needs. It may be uncomfortable at first, but hear this. Would you trade a long-term financial freedom and peace of mind over short-term happiness through non-deliberate spending? Make use of Mr. Sun when they're still live and perfect if you have natural light areas in your home. You'll need to switch on your lights. Switch to LED lighting. Did you know that energy efficient lighting such as LEDs can actually use 75% less right. energy right. and lasts 25 times longer than incandescent bulbs? Look into purchasing smart appliances. Energy efficient refrigerators and ACs can use 20% less energy mm -hmm. than older models. Unplug your electronics. Take your router or modem, for example. You don't need internet when you sleep. That's true. Right? Right. Charge your phone the fastest way. Put them on airplane mode. Lastly, make you make sure that your large appliances such as ACs and Correct. fridge yeah. are in good condition. We actually learned this the hard way. There was a time that our AC was not functioning very well. And instead of having it fixed, we ended up paying a hefty Big amount, amount at money. the end of the month. Right. Remember, low functioning appliances have to work harder, which can lead to higher energy bill. Mm -hmm. By applying all these, I'm happy to share that we were able to lower down our electricity to 60%, a huge saving. You know, brilliant management theorist Peter Drucker once said, what gets measured, you know, gets managed. 
My wife and I think that it's not only applicable to the corporate world, but also to managing our budget as a household. And have you ever been in a situation before where all of a sudden you're surprised where did all your money go? Now that's because you don't track what goes in and what comes out from your pocket. Tra tracking your spending and hard-earned money allows you to you know, better manage and control your cash flow. For Kathy and I, we track the money that goes in, which is our income, the money comes out, which is our expenses, the money we save, you know, the money we invest, the budget we set for necessities, and how much money are we allowed to spend for leisure, traveling, or eating or, out. Or eating out, yeah. If you haven't done it yet and interested to give it a try, don't overthink how your tracker should look like. There are tons of YouTube videos out there that can teach you how to do it actually. Really though, if you have a pen and paper with you, that can already be a good start. But the bottom line is, track your, where your money goes so next time around, you know which area you can do better, you know which needs adjustment and better plan how you can you know, manage your finances better. Hope you find all these tips, useful information applicable to your everyday life. Right. If you learn a thing or two, do let us know. If you have other tips, please do share them. We'd love to learn from you too. Thank you for joining. See you next week. See you guys. Bye.